miniature art is uh, very rare and new in Bhutan. What inspired you to get into miniature art? Uh, miniature Bhutan is a passion-driven art and uh, also uh, from a gift from a, my grandfather. My grandfather gave me this idea but uh, we made it into passion and now we're making passion into a, a, a business. I, I believe you worked in some other organizations like, before becoming a miniature artist. Mula, if you could tell us about it. Yes, la. I was working for uh, Asian Development Bank as a project implementation specialist. La. But uh, many of the time, la, uh, why we came into this business is that uh, whenever a guest la, which comes from, we have consultants from coming from uh, different countries, la, like uh, from England or any other countries, la, or for the consultations from most McDonald or Riva or any country. La. So they always ask authentic gifts which we, they wanted to take it back to their family or friends or office. So whenever, and this was given to me, being an artist, so whenever I go, all these products, especially if you go in the market, is like almost uh, from other countries. Then that inspired me one in a one way that, uh, okay, there is, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a miniature artist, we can do a lot of things, which is like basically imported from others. Why can't we make when, when we have all this material and art, and me being an artist. So that's why this, uh, that, that was how it uh, started. You were saying it's inspired from your grandfather, Mula. If you could tell us a little about your grandfather and his passion for miniature art. Uh, miniature art, uh, he was, uh, uh, he, uh, he was working in Bumdang and uh, he, was, he used to work for, he's a, a, a Jinzop and uh, in, 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 uh, especially in Jakar, in Jakar Zong, uh, where my mother is from, Lapumtang. And uh, when we were very young, he used to make uh, small, small things like, uh, like cow, uh, like other small, small animals like dog and everything in, a, in the form of buckwheat, wheat, in, in powder. So from there, I got inspired. And he was also very interested in making small, small things. So this is how we, uh, I went on and uh, made it into a passion. Then passion now will be becoming into a business now. I think it's been almost two years since you started Miniature Bhutan. So if you could tell us a bit about Miniature Bhutan. Now, when we started this Miniature Bhutan, Miniature Bhutan had a clear idea, as I've told, that many of these products, any souvenirs are coming from outside the country. And what is happening right now in the current uh, in situation is that one day there will be a situation where we will lose our culture, where there will be no, uh, there will be no Bhutanese product that represents Bhutan. But in the form of miniaturization, we thought that we could bring uh, cultural products, like uh, especially, it can be any form, rice art, clay-based art, which is in the form of miniaturization. So that's why, uh, and not only that, whatever product that we make, so miniature Bhutan, what happens is that whatever product we make, especially maybe in jewelry or anything, so all the products, the packaging comes from the rural area. Especially we have Dabba from uh, from uh, uh, from Yangtze. We have uh, Bangchung, different kind of Bangchung designs uh, from uh, from uh, Jemga, from Jokhar, and uh, other places. So this is how we collaborate with the local artists. So what is happening is that now we are trying to help the local artists promote the product, and now that product is now becoming a packaging for us, so that it becomes more authentic. So it becomes more uh, authentic to even to sell to other other people or any of the people coming from outside. So that was the reason why we wanted to collaborate with the rural area. So this is how we work together with the rural area. So I think uh, we are now also going for clay packaging, so which is on the way. What type of products do you produce? Uh, uh, we, are, we are like almost now, almost one year, almost one year, seven, eight months right now. And uh, uh, we have been uh, in the startup center, uh, which uh, the government has given this place and which, which, we, which we are very thankful. Staying here, we are able to, uh, able to market our product. Not only that, we are uh, able to produce, especially uh, before we are doing only miniature art, like rice art, pencil art, gold art. But now we have diversified into jewelry, personalized jewelry, jewelry-based art, uh, or Bhutanese, Bhutanese uh, culture-based, like uh, Bhutanese uh, culture, 
like who om and uh, this is the product then we have now we are coming up with uh, embroideries uh, embroideries uh, temru which is traditionally done by hand uh, teachers now we are doing jewelry jewelry especially is uh, we have uh, gold silver and uh, now we are also doing doll making uh, which is also culture based uh, many of the what uh, especially the doll making is all about uh, uh, our chamla, especially whenever there is a techu. Last time I just went to techu and uh, there was uh, a few foreigners uh, who actually liked uh, our chamla, especially. So they were saying, is, they were asking me, is anywhere place that we can buy this all these chum characters and then, then we said like, uh, no, not not for right now. La. So that's why we started making, now we started designing and now started going to make, I think the prototype is almost ready, like the MVP, and now maybe in April we are going to launch. Do the products from miniature Bhutan represent Bhutan in a unique way? Yes, it represents in a very unique way, Nalula, because first of all, it's culture. We work only in culture-based product. Secondly, whatever we make, it is uh, whatever we make, the final pro uh, product packaging comes from the rural area that is traditionally la, handmade. La. And our product, whatever product we make, la, is all handmade. La. Uh, and another value we have is like uh, whatever product uh, we combine la, together, that uh, gives a story, la, a storytelling, la, who made it and how it was made, from where it was made. So that's why, la, and uh, especially uh, if you see, in many of the uh, products, especially if you see in the market, um, if, you, if you have to explain about one product, oh, who made this? So this is like all imported from other countries, like almost like 95% of these products have been imported from other countries. Like, and they don't know what the, who the artists are. Like. So we have a dedicated customer like, from Australia. We are quite famous with Australia, Perth and Melbourne. Like. So what is happening? People know us because we are like, we make it by ourselves. Like. So people come and see, oh, you are the artist, you make it, and the, the packaging comes from this area. So this is how more authentic, more culturized, and people really understand, oh, this is made in Bhutan. So that's why like, we are like very much in promoting made in Bhutan or brand, uh, brand Bhutan. Like. So this is uh, our main uh, any, the objective. Like. You have also crafted a various piece from pencil and rice grain as well. If you could yes, tell us. we did from pencil, we did from, uh, from rice, we, uh, pencil uh, we did, uh, especially pencil is, uh, pencil we did very, uh, very interesting thing. Uh, we went to micro level, uh, it's like 0 0.007 micron, uh, we have Buddha. Uh, and uh, with the rice art, uh, we almost, uh, uh, in one grain of rice, we do almost 100 and, 108 words, uh, like Om. We have 108 Ohms in one grain of rice. Now we are uh, trying to write uh, Melam, uh, uh, Melam Shambhogila. So we, we wanted to write 2,000 words in one grain of rice. Uh, so this is all in the process. And we are also, we made, uh, uh, we, are going, uh, we are almost uh, finished with the gold, uh, in gold powder, we are going to make a Buddha in gold powder, gold dust powder, powder. So we are almost uh, we are doing a distinct manner, but not only that, we are doing other products also together. But whatever product we make, it's all culture-based products. So crafting uh, something on a rice grain is very uh, must be very challenging. It's a very unique idea actually. How how did you come to know about this, or how how did you initiate this? Uh, especially, I would like to tell you is that uh, I started this journey from the age of five. La. I was uh, almost trained by my grandfather at the age of five. La. When my grandfather died uh, at the age of uh, when I was just eight or nine years old. And uh, I took this passion into a next level. La. When I was in school, in Punaka High School, la, we, uh, I started from there. La, uh, uh, when the Zong, Punaka Zong re renovation was going on, uh, I get an opportunity to see how people do it in clay base, in gold. So everywhere, whenever I get Saturdays and Sundays in Punaka High School, I used to go to the Zong in Likita, I just again see. So that, uh, that's how I improved myself, went on, went on. But uh, distinctly, I never had this opportunity to get trained from somebody else. Uh, but it was the grandfather that I took it and uh, we are just now now the passion is getting into a business. You said uh, you have stories behind each product. So if you could just show us one line. Now if you see, uh, this is one product. Uh, 
uh, this is uh, if you uh, if I just open it, this is. This is uh, 1641 uh, cantilever bridge, and uh, we have been uh, we have been working with almost four engineers and uh, one architect. It's a cantilever bridge from uh, 1641, and uh, the engine, uh, we work with the close with the engineers, and they have given this uh, authentically. They said that almost 89 percent of this bridge has been uh, completed. So, so you can see whatever uh, there should be in the cantilever bridge is almost there, somewhere. So that's why we are like, still working on this bridge. Like. So maybe in uh, maybe in I think in August we might get the certificate like, saying that this bridge uh, this bridge is completely the cantilever bridge of uh, 16, uh, 1641. That is uh, beside the any uh, letter station zone. Like. So this is uh, the bridge like, what we had. Like. Is it curved on a clay or? Uh, this is curved in the pencil, the pencil lead. No, no. The, the, this is just the size, uh, uh, the breadth is just uh, three centimeter. Uh, so the, but the base is clay, no? Uh, be, no, 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 no. The base is uh, a wood powder. No. So it's a powder no. then out of which we made all of this. No. But this is pencil lead. No. So just the height is just maybe like 0 0.3 or 4 centimeters. Just to uh, capture the culture. No. And we're like we're coming up with a lot of things, like, especially I told before, like, like gold, Buddha, and gold dust. Like, we are trying to make. So this is how we started like, now. And your art piece of Buddha curved out of pencil lead won prices and gained popularity. Uh, yes, so yeah. tell us about it. Yes, like, that is uh, that is uh, that was the moment that that, that that was the happiest moment. Uh, I won two times, like, not once. Like. I won two times. Like, that was. Uh, in Tech Park, when I was uh, uh, when I was doing uh, uh, my entrepreneur course, la, where Ministry of Labour and Tech Park organized this la, entrepreneur course, la, advanced entrepreneur course, and I was the winner there, and the Buddha was the first that I won, la. and uh, not only that, even in the Tech Star, la, uh, that motivated me to go further. La. So when nobody was trying to help me, like, no, uh, even my family or any other people who were very close to me never helped me. Like, few friends who helped me to move forward like, in the tech star. Like, uh, to reach the tech star, they actually helped me to motivate and actually we were in the next level. Like, and uh, that was another Buddha that we made uh, of 0 .0, 0 0.03. Uh, millimeter gila, and that won uh, the, and just not only winning that, like, the uh, the people started. People were more curious. People were uh, wanted to see. People uh, people were now aware of what miniature is about. When people had no idea about miniature uh, miniaturization, like, then people started creating. Oh, what is miniaturization? Then they started the creating. Then we started creating our market, like, and very really thanks to B BBS. Like, it was the BBS actually uh, team who actually promoted, like, and uh, we. We are here in such a in a, such a big place because of uh, BBS, uh, uh, BBS and also DCI Sila, uh, who gave us the space and to Anila. And uh, with this uh, uh, with this media uh, with this media, we we went further. Uh, we went. We were now we are like we are like famous within like almost six to seven countries, uh, starting from uh, Australia, uh, Canada, USA, uh, Japan. Japan is one of the very much into our products, uh, which is handmade miniaturization. Then we have. Dubai, Qatar, and especially Brazil also. Like, we have few countries who are very much interested. Like, so the media actually gave us so much. Like, people understood about what miniaturization is. And if you see in our Facebook and Instagram, there are people coming in. Uh, people are coming in from different countries. Like now, the the new edition, uh, a talk show from England also interviewed us. Like, so. They were also very. Uh, uh, they were like very. Uh, they wanted to talk with us and what about the miniaturization. So this is how we we went through. And now we are here in a such a big place. And now, though we are not uh, supplying in the big, but in a small ways, we are like now miniaturization is coming up. And people understanding what miniaturization. Even people. I will show you one product that is a silver, which we have a customer uh, who wants just one centimeter of silver gi thumb. Thumb. She wants to give it her, uh, to present to her daughter. We, we made almost like one centimeter, very small in the silver. So this is how now people are, even now Bhutanese people are understanding about miniaturization, the quality and the quantity of what Bhutan is. So this is now is going forward. In general, what are the basic challenges of starting a new venture in Bhutan? Now, uh, as per our king's uh, 
uh, been so supporting la, our king has been uh, supporting the entrepreneurs la, entrepreneurs and everywhere in the country la. Uh, thanks to that, la, that uh, our, our king is giving this big opportunity. La. But the challenges right now we face for every entrepreneur, la, every entrepreneur, we, uh, especially in the startup center, we have like maybe 32 entrepreneurs. La. Whatever money they get, la, any loan or any of the, uh, the uh, like finance they get it from, la, the biggest is market la, to sell their product. La. And another is a payment gateway, which is one of the biggest problems. Especially, uh, you can, uh, f uh, if you just, if you wanted to buy something from like online, any other places, you can easily, uh, money is going out. But if you want to bring the money in, if somebody wants, especially uh, what, what happened with me is one example in payment gateway is, we have uh, one Indian from, uh, who visited Bhutan. Now he lives in uh, France. He said he wants to buy another product. Then the biggest problem over there was that uh, we can send the product, but how to get the money back? La? How to get the money? La? That was the biggest problem. Then we ha he has to go through all this uh, TDS pro process. La. He has to go to do, have to go to the bank, have to do the TD, or we have to find somebody's, uh, 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 maybe like we have to find someone's uh, page, la, a website page. From there, we have to uh, tell him to put it here, or uh, transfer the money here. La. That's the biggest challenge. La. And another one, which actually in the first place is the market. La. Bhutan's market is a very unstable market because of too much of imports. La. And our, our product has been compared with a lot of international products. La. And uh, which Bhutan is not in that position to uh, capture, uh, to, uh, to meet the standards. La. So I think uh, these are the two big things that uh, uh, right now we are having. La. We are not able to sell outside. La. And uh, even there are, uh, government, government is not doing anything to sell these products outside la. because what other there are a lot of divisions or many ministries or offices they have their own standards they they have their own things la. but and the, though uh, people are trying to like RMA load info foundation we have RDDTCL we have Stark those they they are funding this project la. This is very good la. and uh, we have been very thankful to them that they have been uh, funding la. but the thing is that the other organization especially are not able to grab uh, what actually is happening la. because we are not able to sell, sell outside because many of them tell that there is no any standardization means. but if you see some of the products are very under because we are compared with the international label killer but which is now overlooked by the anila uh, government la. So I feel that these are the two things that is a, is a bigger challenge. La. And if you see many of the entrepreneurs, some of the entrepreneurs are withdrawing through, uh, withdrawing or getting bankrupt because of they're not able to sell because of the policies. Bhutan has uh, uh, policies that is made within the four doors, la, but not with the entrepreneurs or not with the la, public. La. So that's the problem which are having. La. Maybe which will change. La. Uh, we hope that it will change very soon. La, la. So that's the challenge. Looks like there are buyers more for yes, Bhutanese yes, products, yes, but uh, somehow the money transaction um, is, gateway, it's yeah. difficult. Mola. But have I'm sure it's not just you alone. La. It must be all uh, everybody. Mola, yes, but have you uh, spoken with somebody la, uh, uh, with the concerned ministry or agency? La? No, especially uh, what to say. La, we went to Bhutan Post. We went to uh, RME, and uh, we met few officers. La. And um, uh, even we got an opportunity uh, to get an audience. Uh, we got an audience with our king in the startup center. La. At that time also, la, I, I, I spoke on behalf of other, um, other colleagues saying that uh, the biggest problem is the market and the, uh, we just presented our Anila that uh, the payment gateway is a big problem. Though it's now, maybe it's now happening la, slowly, slowly. La. Uh, but it's taking time, la. but uh, the market access is very less. La. Market access is uh, we, we are not able to access any of the market right now. La. Even we are not even we are not able to access our own neighboring country, India, la, uh, which is giving us a very huge competition. La. Uh, but there are some few organizations like uh, which are selling outside, la, which is now meeting the standards. La. But uh, at the whole, at the, as a whole, it's quite difficult la, right now. There. As a startup entrepreneur yourself. Uh, What's your view? Uh, our government has been encouraging Mona, so many youths to get into uh, startup businesses. Your views? So another way of 
to diminish this uh, unemployment opportunity, this unemployment law, is to go further with uh, the entrepreneurial law. If you come up with your different ideas, and it, it, it is possible. Uh, Bhutan is uh, such a country, uh, given in like what our fifth thing has said, like, given an opportunity, Bhutanese people can achieve anything. Uh, just Bhutanese people are not given an opportunity. Uh, so that's why uh, if the entrepreneurs, uh, if you see in just in one to two years of time, uh, this has not been like 10 years, it just become like two to three years of time. Uh, and now recognizing the uh, government has recognized entrepreneur as one of the, uh, so, uh, uh, one of the core uh, that will contribute into the uh, country's economic. Uh, and this has just been around like two to three years, uh, which is happening now, uh, maybe uh, four to five years. Uh, that too. So now if you see, the people like doing things like if you see we have vegan, uh, vegan. We have eco packaging. We have uh, we have lampshade. We have uh, sangeet's creation that, that that makes uh, souvenirs, which is was impossible in before. Uh, now you can see these are possible uh, now. Whatever other people are doing, we are also doing here, uh, and we work together also like as a team. Uh, so that's why uh, I feel that uh, people who are now becoming more successful, uh, people are now becoming shocked that oh, we get this kind of product not in Bangkok, not in Nepal, not in India. We also get it here. Uh. So now people are thinking of alternative. People are now coming. One example: people are also coming to us, uh, especially saying like in jewelry base. Uh, there are a lot of jewelry. Uh, uh, jewelry coming from outside the country and they are doing it. But now people, when we did it, they are saying, oh, there are some possibilities. Buddhists are also talented. Some people are now diverting to us. They are saying, oh, we wanted to buy this product. So this is, um, this is the change now people is coming up. And people, people, actually, Buddhist people, we have no fault with the Buddhist people because they are into so much of uh, uh, imports and the quality. And when we reach, when we are making a quality, so it's quite difficult to meet their uh, their standards. La. But uh, as a Bhutanese, as I said, la, given an opportunity, Bhutanese can achieve anything. La. Now, if you see, we have 32 entrepreneurs in, uh, uh, in a startup center. La. They're doing uh, wonders. La. Coming up with uh, new ideas, new products, I, and getting involved in startup, I think it's very glamorous la, at the moment. Are these sustainable la, and reliable? And what are the ground realities? Yes, yes la. That, that, that's the biggest question that many people over here, that is, la, the, as I told you, la, uh, the ground reality is the market. La. There are right now the ground reality. People are uh, trying to survive. La. People are improving uh, the call, the products. If you see, la, just one year ago, now you see the products. La, it's totally changing. La. They shape uh, anything, designs and everything. La, now improving, and uh, now uh, especially with the, uh, the, uh, the government has also given an initiative of giving missionaries for free, uh, free la, uh, from the CSI, la, which is again more helping the entrepreneurs to grow more. So especially in a, one of the initiatives, a very, a very good initiative by uh, uh, one of the DCSI in Nalupia, they have given this uh, missionaries for free, like, two lakhs worth of missionary for free. So that's why, like, which is helping us entrepreneurs to grow more. Like. So I feel that, you know, like in ground reality, uh, people are su surviving, but they're improving. Like. It's just, it, it just about the time that they need to you know, grab slowly. La. But now, because of the fast world, la, because of the fast world, internet and everything in access, la. so now people, Buddhist people also now youth, la, especially entrepreneurs or youth, are like very much far-sighted and they know what to do la, now. Even uh, when we do mentoring or anything, la, we have friends and we have youth, they are like more better la, now. La. You are also mentioning that you started with the uh uh, miniature art, I mean, yes. uh, curving on pencil and those, and then now you have to you have move on to jewelry as well, and then you were saying it's as per the customers' uh, demands uh, and specifications, you improve your products, yes. So uh, in last two almost two years now, what have you learned personally as an entrepreneur? In especially in entrepreneur's life, it is internationally said also that if you don't work, uh, if you are working alone. Uh, and uh, uh, you can see uh, what they say is like uh, uh, you, you, uh, many of the startups will die within two to three years. 98% that is for sure. Then, which is was told in, in entrepreneur course uh, that if uh, no, maybe 98% uh, of the entrepreneurs will die uh, within that two to three years. Then, what we did and what we learned and what we achieved was that. Uh, we made a team, actually. We have Lavinia, we have Bundle.pt, we have Hishum Creations. So all this team, 
and we uh, we have DDL also. With this team, like, they, these people are all architect and uh, architect and engineers. Like. So what we did was to sustain ourselves to learn a lesson. Like, we met as a team and we produce our product, and uh, we were helping each other. Like. And this is what we learn in the in the long run like, that without a team you cannot sustain. Like. So you have to have like, you have to have a bundle of BT, you have to have a delivery system, you have to have a photographer, you have a technical person. Like. So these seven people we work together and we are now prospering. Though we are not doing so good, so good or great and making a lot of money, like, but because these people are all passion based, like, they left their all these engineers and architects left their job because of their passion and interest, like, passion for photography, passion for becoming an entrepreneur, passion for doing a delivery based system. Like. This is this is how we work together, and the lesson is that if you work together, anything can be achieved. Like. They, to, uh, uh, why we sustain? Uh, why Minichi Bhutan is there just, just because of the team. And as we end our program, what's your advice for our viewers and all those who are passionate about art? Yes, uh, for all the entrepreneurs, like, especially who wants to join as an entrepreneur and want to do something in their life, is that you, do, you don't need a passion exactly. Like. If you think that you want, if you wanted to do something, have a prototype like, first. Have a prototype, have a MVP in your hand. Like. Then you, uh, then you calculate yourself, and uh, and uh, entrepreneur journey is always interesting. It it will always go further. Like. And uh, my advice is, uh, whoever is an uh, entrepreneur, like, uh, you are always welcome, and uh, you can do wonders in life. Like. Sonam, thank you very much thank for you. your time and sharing your insight with us, and all the best, love, with your thank new you. launches. Thank you very much.